What's going on everybody? Today is a hot summer day here in Kingsport, Tennessee. I wanted to check in with you guys and talk with you a little bit about the difference between trans tape and KT tape. Now taping for binding is the only way I'm able to stay alive in these hot summer days as I am a naturally hot bodied person. But today we're going to be talking a little bit about the specific differences between KT tape and trans tape and why I choose trans tape over KT tape. So stick around, it's going to be a good one. people like to say that KT tape and trans tape are practically the same thing and they have kind of the same ideas but I've come up with five main differences uh, between KT tape and trans tape that you might find interesting and help you make the best decision that works for you and your body. Number one is no logo. For me it's kind of dysphoric to see the KT logo on their KT tape across your chest and if you were one of those people that want to go out swimming shirtless with just tape on um, it's kind of like a big flag like to me like a pointing at the fact that you're using something else on your chest and it kind of just makes me feel a little bit more uncomfortable when I'm going out to swim and I've got this big KT logo across my chest. Trans tape doesn't have any logos um, so that was a super nice feature for me. They don't have pre-cut strips. Trans tape just kind of gives you the whole roll and, and they've got these blue lines on here which helps you measure um, easier when you're cutting so you know exactly what the right length that works for your body is. Number two is skin tones. KT tape has a lot of different colors. Um, they've got like the black, I've seen red, I've seen neon green, I've seen a lot of these different colors but they don't really have very many like skin tone options. And trans tape offers three options. So they've got this uh, like beige um, for like lighter skin tones. Um, they've got this darker beige. It's kind of hard to see the difference on camera but you can definitely tell this one is lighter than this one. Um, so it's, it kind of just gives you a, an extra option. They've also got an option for darker skin tones, uh, which is kind of like more of a brown. Number three is the sizing differentials. Now KT tape has a thin one and then they have an extra wide version, um, which is helpful for bigger chested people, but the people that are kind of in the middle, like myself, I'm, I don't really consider myself a small chest, but I definitely don't have like double D's or anything like that. Um, so I'm kind of in the, in the middle of those two sizes. Trans tape offers three different sizes which helps you determine what's going to work best for your body um, and they actually don't charge extra for the wider versions like just because you have a bigger chest doesn't mean that you should have to pay more. Number four is that they're actually cheaper per roll. Now trans tape one roll that will run you about $14.99. That does last me like three months usually um, and I'm a medium sized chest I guess um, and then KT tape per roll runs around $17. Um, so you do save a couple bucks there and of course with any product the more you purchase the cheaper it is per roll My fifth key point is that it's trans owned and operated Now why would that matter? Well, it matters because this guy has made this with trans people in mind compared to KT tape who it's, it's kind of way more directed at athletic injuries um, kind of helping people recover with those injuries, but trans tape was made for trans people who want to bind with tape And he also uses uh, the wider strips as a, um, a packing adhesive option uh, So that way you can turn any of your packers into um, a self-adhesive packer Which I made a video for which will be in the description below since he since it's also trans owned and operated He offers healing solves and removal oil. The main misconception with taping is that people are taking it off wrong. They're ripping it off their skin or they're taking it off dry and that causes you to have those blisters under here or whatever. Obviously you can have an allergy or something like that which I've seen but for the most part it's just from removing it the incorrect way. I also made a video on the correct removal way um, which you can check out right up here uh, in your corner. It might be over here. I don't know but it's definitely up at the top of your screen. So if you want to know how to uh, remove it safely you can use that. I used to bind with KT tape. In fact one of my uh, videos that has have a lot of views it was from how to bind with KT tape so then that was before I found trans tape so I definitely have used both of these pretty regularly and I just prefer trans tape like I said there's a, com a lot of common misconceptions when it comes to binding with tape but the number one thing to remember is safety making sure you're taking it off safely making sure your skin is staying safe throughout the whole process you're staying safe and how long you're wearing it um, you can wear trans tape up to three days until you should give your skin a, a rest. So that definitely helped me out. I encourage you to, you know, give this method of binding a shot because binders are like kind of the, the go-to for binding in our community. But trans tape has changed my life in the way of, like I recently went swimming for the first time shirtless and I am not a small dude. I'm definitely not you know, the smallest of guys. I've got a belly. I'm not sitting here with a six pack 
but I was able to take my shirt off and go confidently because I know that this trans tape um, not only blends with my skin, but it makes me feel free. It makes me feel like I can be myself even and just until I can afford top surgery. So that was super, super nice. And I want to know from you guys, do you have you tried KT tape? Have you tried trans tape? Drop in the comments below. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know your experiences. Let me know what works for you if you've got tips or tricks that really help. If you've got tips or trips, trips. If you've got, tr if you've got, like if you have tips and tricks that you want to share with the community, help your trans family out, drop in the comments below. Definitely subscribe to me if you want to see some more of my content. I uh, appreciate every subscribe that I get. As always, I love you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. For the love of the Lord Almighty, please stay positive out there, y'all. And I'll see you guys in the next video.